Welcome to a special Indianomics where we are discussing the MSME sector. Now, why MSMEs? Because several trends are lately indicating a fairly decent improvement in India's MSME sector. Sibyl and State Bank of India's data show that outstanding credit with MSMEs has grown by a compounded annual rate of 11% since pre-COVID, FY19. At the same time, their loan delinquency has fallen from 4.11% pre-COVID to 2.95% in FY22, the last full year for which we have data. Now, the chief economic advisor, Anant Nageshwaran, pointed out in a recent uh, uh, foreign affairs article that while 80% of the GSTN registrations, you know, in 2017 when GST came, were those who were earlier sales taxpayers, the balance 19.8% are new registrations, indicating formalization of informal units. He also points out in that article that data from the Udayam portal is showing that 93,000 micro units have grown to become small units and 10,000 small units have become medium, uh, 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 medium enterprises. And all this is from July 20th when the Udayam portal came up. So, looks like economic growth, schemes like the CGT MSE and the digitization process appears to have helped a general recovery of MSMEs. Has it? Well, if it has, then it makes a very big difference to the way we approach banking stocks, NBFC stocks, microfinance stocks and indeed the macro economy. So, it's a very big trend if that's true. I have with me four experts who can feel the pulse of the MSME sector I have with me Rajesh Kumar, Managing Director and CEO of TransUnion Sibyl, Dhrubhashish Bhattacharya, Head uh, Medium and Small Enterprises Lending at Bank of Baroda, Vivek Tripathi, Head of Commercial Banking at AU Small Finance Bank, and I think the most important man in the picture, Mr. S. Raman, the Chairman and Managing Director of SIDBI, Small Industries Development Bank, and uh, the person who would know a thing or two about MSMEs. But uh, I'm going to start with you, Rajesh. Uh, Rajesh, uh, uh, you know, this is Sibyl data that we are discussing. Uh, you tell us, are you actually noticing a dramatic improvement or a reasonably strong improvement in the performance of MSMEs? Uh, good morning, Lata. Thanks for inviting me to the show. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I would use the word inflection point, as you said, dramatic improvement. Uh, so first of all, when we talk about all these huge growth numbers, I think two, three important points to note is that amongst the MSME credit given in terms of originations, we are already talking about uh, almost a 70% going to what we call the micro segment. And typically in, in, in the industry parlance, when we say micro, we are talking about a total loan or total credit of less than one crore. Now, within that, another very interesting trend is that with sub 10 lakhs loan amount, actually is again another 70 odd percent. And then within that, if you see, there's another 70 percent in the sub 10 lakh segment, which is also new to credit. And, and, and the reason I'm saying this is a wonderful inflection point is that all of this is opening up thanks to the new taxpayers that you just mentioned. The uh, overall uh, turnover cutoff for filing income tax has been reduced to 10 crores. So what's really happening is that the formalization that you spoke about, there are crores and crores of invoice data that's coming into the system. And the typical problem when we used to perceive in the past that MSMEs are risky or small MSMEs are risky. Now, now I, I think we are in a fantastic position today, thanks to all the digitization and the public digital ecosystems or infrastructure that we're talking about, where we're saying that the risk, aver risk averseness because of the lack of information for lenders to take good decisions, good lending decisions, that's being mitigated now with all this information. And lastly, uh, this growth that we see is not in particular states, the usual large industrial states. We are seeing a lot of young borrowers coming in, a lot of new to credit borrowers, a lot of women borrowers, and what we typically say in the industry, Suru, right? Semi-urban and rural uh, geographies, terrific growth in the contribution from these segments. So uh, coming back, I think there's a wonderful inflection point that we are beginning to witness here. Okay, I'll scratch that point further with you, Rajesh, but uh, let me get Mr. Raman in. Uh, as Sidbi, perhaps, uh, Mr. Raman, you're best placed to give us an idea whether you would agree with Rajesh. Is it an inflection point or is it only a slow incremental journey? Hi, morning. Uh, so I think a lot of uh, programs have now come together and they're probably 
you know, leveraging upon each other. So we are seeing a rebound. So there's certainly going to be a rebound after COVID. But what we have our, ourselves seen, of course, on a slightly small base in our direct lending, our direct lending shows that we have grown 20% year on year, which I think is uh, excellent credit uptake from the MSMEs. We look at MSMEs now from a slightly different lens. We really look at them as those within the GSTN system and those outside it. And I think the data that you had just shared clearly shows that there is an increase in the number of GSTN invoices. And therefore, around the GSTN data, which I think all banks are now using, as Rajesh had mentioned, with the public data infrastructure, which has been built, we are now looking at giving an incentive to entities that are within the GST and sector, because all of us are working on straight through processing methods where delivery of credit becomes cheaper. So I think at the end of the day, the incentive to be part of the GST system and become formalized must be something perceived amongst the MSME, such that more and more of them come within the GST and sector. And the second is really the advent of account aggregator, which is now going to help pull the data from both GSTN as well as bank statements from banks, such that we are now getting into a very seamless digital journey for credit appraisal. And we really think as the banking sector is concerned, we should be able to provide credit within 24 hours of an application coming in. Now that's really going to make a change to the MSMEs because yesterday they were not treated in a similar manner. And this has happened thanks to the digital data. Okay. So uh, I think I'll stop there for right yeah, now. You, know, you seem to give me the impression that we are going to get uh, to a point where the account aggregators will start uh, you know, speeding up the process. Uh, you know, that we know, but the, I spoke to a couple of account aggregators. Uh, the golden moment is still probably a few years away, a couple of years away at least, when they can integrate so much. That's the impression I got. But, uh, you know, Bank of Baroda uh, was speaking about, what, 59 minutes to a loan or something some time back. So, uh, Mr. Bhattacharya, on that point, uh, you, you know, can you actually tell us whether uh, the uh, MSME can be called the new retail? Actually, this is a phrase which Rajesh gave me. He said some bankers are saying that uh, MSME is the new retail. Do you feel that there is that kind of a spring in the step? Oh, yes, Lata, actually. Uh, and good morning to everybody. And I completely endorse the views of the two speakers earlier. Uh, well, there's a mantra, a punchline, which has been heard quite often that MSME is the new retail because last two, two and a half decades, particularly where uh, we, we saw a revolution in the retail uh, finance. And I think uh, MSME uh, was uh, uh, the elephant in the room. And now we have discovered that this, this elephant is actually uh, uh, gives the maximum yield, the maximum return on assets or a, uh, return on capital to, the, uh, to any organization. So therefore, uh, at Bank of Baroda also, uh, we understand and we, have, uh, we drew uh, uh, big plans for the MSME business. Uh, just to give a couple of figures, you know, while our growth uh, in the AUM has been close to 14%, Nevertheless, but that has come in the backdrop of a reduction in the NPAs of 400 bips in the last four quarters. So that's most interesting. We want to break the myth that MSME is actually a delinquent uh, segment or a portfolio. Okay. So uh, this 14 percent, 14 percent is only for MSMEs. You're saying, or is that the overall? Only MSMEs. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Only MSMEs. Yeah. Go ahead, please. 13.7 uh, percent to be precise, and uh, a 400 bips drop in the NPAs in the last four quarters. And uh, a drop in the SMA book. See, NPA is one indicator, but you need to also see what is building up for the future. Okay. So your SMA book, which is the uh, special mention accounts, SMA uh, 1, 2, they have also dropped by 35%. Uh, so the overall, the delinquency position is actually improving a lot. And I'm sure this is true with all the bankers. So if, uh, if, your, if your delinquency position is very favorable and the, the external factors are positive, the initiatives taken by the government, especially with respect to the micro and small enterprises, I'm sure this is going to be the next retail. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Uh, that's good to hear. I was wanting to hear whether it is already the next retail. Now, that's the question really uh, to Vivek. Uh, Vivek, I guess of uh, all of us here, you are the one with the feet on the street. I mean, it's a small finance bank. So, this is the bread and butter for you. Are you getting a feeling that MSME has already arrived and it is not a brighter tomorrow, but they are already doing well. Yeah, so our, our uh, you know, uh, 
as you rightly said that we are in the tier 3 tier 4 locations and we operate in uh, maximum those geographies across the states where we are present uh, uh, our our feeling is two way there have been a k shaped recovery so there are msmes which are into b2b segments which are part of formal ecosystem have really come up and done well uh, there is still uh, a segment which caters to the bottom of pyramid segment uh, largely b2c segment and and into a informal segment they are still recovering so the recovery has not been uniform uh, so if you look at any uh, you know uh, rural fmcg uh, sales or any data would indicate the same right there is a there is a demand for premium goods there but there is a, a muted demand for for a mass market a segment so it it's it's a, it's a the situation has improved uh, dramatically in last two years but obviously there is a one segment of msmes which still still under the recovery uh, okay, um, uh, just to elaborate, what you are saying is that those who are connected to, say, government contracts or to big businesses are the ones that are asking for credit. But Vivek, I just want to know whether compared to four years ago, uh, you know, that is pre-COVID, are you seeing a, a substantial change in the demand for credit from this category? Yes, the overall demand has uh, gone up uh, significantly. Uh, from our point of view, uh, it's almost, you know, the inquiries has gone up 1.4x. Our uh, share in the MSME incremental lending has gone up from 0.8% to 1.2%. So that demand is, is growing. And we are seeing a stronger demand from the uh, segment which is getting formalized. So that's that's one area. Uh, the second area there where we see a significant better performance by even the informal segment in terms of we when we look at our collection efficiency data, when we look at uh, a typical you know uh, quarter three cycle uh, across the year, even pre-COVID level, this uh, this gives us a lot of confidence that you know the borrowers are forthcoming. Even there is a resolution in the NPA account, there is a higher you know and better collection efficiency across the bucket. So okay. uh, there is a demand and there is a better cash flow. Uh, okay. Obviously, the the GST and banking data gives us more confidence to underwrite, and Got that it. has enabled the banking system to do more credit. In fact, uh, so clearly GSTN has helped formalization. Formalization has helped the MSME sector. We need to go into a break on that optimistic note. We're going to come back and look at the next steps that you all see in the growth of the MSME sector. Back in a jiffy. Experts tell us that there has been a seminal improvement in the MSME sector, and that's what we have been discussing with four experts. Rajesh Kumar of TransUnion Sibyl, Dhrubhashish Bhattacharya of Bank of Baroda, Vivek Tripathi of AU Small Finance Bank, and Mr. S. Raman, the and Managing Director of SIDBI. Uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for your patience for waiting by. Uh, Rajesh, uh, you know, the account aggregator is on the anvil. I mean, it's, 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 it's a budding idea. Have you already, I mean, at Sibyl, are you able to use more data? And are you therefore able to get more MSMEs in your can? Oh, absolutely, Lata. As I mentioned earlier, when it comes to this segment, the real problem that we are trying to solve is the easy availability of relevant data. So thanks to account aggregator framework now, uh, we can use all the GSTN data, which is a trade level invoice data, and then we're getting bank statements. So we, we can triangulate the sales or purchase invoice versus the uh, versus a credit or debit in a bank statement. And then all of this coming together with the financial being filed at MCA. So we've, we've recently launched a product, in fact, mentored by uh, Sidby. And uh, all of this should lead to, to touch upon one earlier point, the formalization. Uh, look, today we are talking about uh, seven to eight crore MSMEs. That would be the approximate number, uh, the recent number. And then on the other hand, the ever credited MSMEs who, who got some credit historically is at about two and a half crores, which means we are talking about another five crore MSMEs. A lot of them will come into the micro and very small segment. Traditionally, if you see, the credit that they operate on is actually trade credit. So most of the small uh, traders, for example, or the shopkeepers, they all get 30 days credit from their distributors, right? And uh, it, it's really not the most efficient way of assessing credit by lenders today. But with all this digital infrastructure that we're talking about, all of that can come into the formal lending system because we have all the relevant data. Okay. No, has has some of it already come? You're saying that you're already using GST and data, is it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We, we call this the fit rank, coincidentally, okay. which is financial uh, income and trade information. Okay. And that has led to a larger number of smaller units uh, uh, being analyzable by you. 
Oh yeah, that, that's bigger now. Uh, I, I, I think there's lots more work to be done in terms of uh, taking it deeper into the market and, and a lot of that is tech dependent. We are already investing a lot into that, but the initial response from the bankers has been really encouraging okay. because in the end it's making lending so much easier. Fair enough. Uh, Mr. Raman, on the same point, uh, are you able to do more in terms of refinancing? Uh, what I'm trying to check out is not what will be possible, but uh, as of now, because of the CGT MSE, because of other data that is being available, uh, is it be able to reach out to more people? Yes, certainly. I think, uh, one, the GSTN data has been used by everybody. And just to make a point, the account aggregator is actually up and running. Okay. It does require a little bit of uh, further integration with GSTN, but on the bank statement side, it is completely uh, up and running and people are using it. But with regard to formalization, I'd really like to share with all of you mm. a great initiative that the MSME ministry has taken along with SIDBI. We're helping them by getting the entire banking and MFI ecosystem mm. to bring in the informal entities into the formal sector. And this is really by giving them the Udiyam registration certificate. Okay. This will bring them on board onto the dig digital platforms after which a variety of other products could reach them. Of course, the banking sector will be extremely uh, happy because the priority sector loan status will therefore not get disturbed, okay. which today requires an Udiyam registration certificate. So we have already worked out an ambitious plan wherein within the next 12 months, with the help of the banking sector and the MFIs, we should be able to bring on at least two crore entities which are informal today and bring them on to the Udiyam registration portal. Following which there are innovative products which are being talked about. The Standing Committee of Finance talked about a Vyapar credit card. That has been worked with NPCI such that we have a genuine credit card for retail, for very small entities, mm. for the tiny and the nano, so that we're giving them a genuine credit card which will work on the UPI. So at the end of it, you know, as a banking system, we need to look at how to wean the tiny and the nano sector away from the money lenders such that, you know, the interest rates that they are, you know, sort of uh, bearing become more reasonable. Yeah. So I think this is a very, very large uh, initiative. Mm. and. With regard to the refinance sector, that is something which is growing in leaps and bounds. Therefore, we are also, you know, seeing the kind of credit uptake which the NBFCs and the banks are getting. Mm -hmm. And separately, SIDB is working on a platform which is really a blockchain platform for helping us, you know, monitor the loans given by us to smaller NBFCs and MFIs such that our risk is lowered. Okay. So that's another very important uh, piece going forward, which all the large lenders like SBI, NABAD, etc. are expected to join that platform. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you're referring to Udayam Assist. That uh, yes. uh, program is helping, uh, is uh, ensuring that uh, the government helps micro enterprises to come on register in the Udayam portal. Take your point on that. Okay, um, uh, Mr. Bhattacharya, I wanted to know whether, you know, the uh, improvement is uh, is stuttering because of lack of growth. I mean, uh, while uh, formalization is bringing more people, uh, we, uh, is there any problem in terms of this K-shaped recovery, which is not uh, leading it, leading the number of uh, lenders into a, a number of borrowers into a flood? Do you see that problem at all? The growth slowdown or the K-shaped recovery? So, yeah. So, Lata, I think uh, see what has happened here to. Uh take these three segments uh, separately. One is a micro, small, and medium. So today, if you see uh, uh, the formalization of credit largely applies to the uh, to the micro sector. Mm. Today, medium segment is largely settled. They have left the worst behind and they are actually growing. Okay. Uh, today, I think the impetus is required at the micro level. The micro borrowers is where they are. They still have a hitch. They are still uh, uh, falling prey to the, uh, to the, to the money lenders. Local money lenders and the intermediaries in the market. That's where we have to uh, uh, root them out. I think uh, this one big step which at Bank of Broad and I'm sure all the banks would have done is that uh, the the business loan. Typically, that's a big si a chunk of uh, uh, credit which has been offered. And as uh, Rajesh said, that the NTC, which is the new to credit, uh, has increased uh, manifold in, okay. in in the recent years. This is particularly in the business loan, unsecured business loan segment. 
which we are finding, that's a segment which typically the banks, particularly the public sector banks, were wary of. Mm. So I think those were the borrowers who were uh, uh, deprived of the uh, uh, typical PSB loan. We are gearing up heavily into that. One, it has to be a complete digital end-to-end -end digital. And two, we are also taking the route of co-lending, mm. which is another big initiative taken by RBI and the government of India to kind of open these customers wherein uh, uh, you know, we will have a maximum outreach. I think uh, the incremental, uh, your your graph was also showing that your migration from a micro to small and small to medium mm. is happening. This will happen at a rapid pace, more, more and more inclusiveness if we show from uh, the banks to uh, you know involve these micro lenders. Okay. I think that's one area uh, which government is very, very seriously working on and we are, we are backing that. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, it's uh, still a few steps away. Once Udayam uh, assist works, uh, I guess you will yeah. have much more data. Uh, Vivek, uh, you know, you use the word K-shaped recovery, and that's what triggered this question in my mind. Would it be fair to say that an inflection point has been reached because the informal sector has been formalized somewhat because of uh, GSTN, but uh, the bigger leap will come only when growth really picks up? Is that a fair statement? Yeah, Lata, uh, to an extent, it's uh, it's a fair statement. Uh, the, because uh, the, okay. the B2B segment, as I mentioned, that a lot of businesses which were part of the formal ecosystem. Uh, and that is why you would see there is a lot of traction on the demand uh, uh, from that segment. Mm. Uh, uh, however, you know, there are, uh, the, the if you break it down into a two clear-cut segment, uh, the, the linkages where it's related to infra push, where there is a linkages to the, you know, the consumer staple, especially food, agro industry, that has been doing good. Mm -hmm. But the the mass level market, uh, you know, segment where the cater to the the the, the bottom of pyramid consumer and consumers, whether it's a manufacturing, whether it's a uh, you know B two C businesses, those are yet to you know uh, I, I would say grow significantly enough to generate demand. Mm -hmm. uh, but things are improving rapidly at, at, at you know at, at a grassroots level, uh, which is indicated by many other factors. And uh, uh, obviously, the monsoon would uh, play a bigger role. And uh, uh, you know, in, in the, in the uh, these, you know, there is early summer, and there could be impact on the wheat production. Yes. So all those other, you know, uh, factors also play a role in the demand, right? Okay. Uh, so going forward, that's that's our assessment on the. Ground. Fair point, I think, and that's a realistic assessment. Let us be aware that rural demand could get pinched if uh, we have uh, an El Nino effect and if we have uh, a prolonged summer and uh, poor rains. Yes, that point is taken. Uh, unfortunately, out of time, but I think I get enough encouragement from all of you and from the data that you have presented that uh, the formalization process which GST and engendered, GST engendered, has led to a larger number of MSMEs getting credit. But uh, the future inflection point, the trickle becoming a flood and a bigger flood, will depend, of course, on economic growth itself. And for that, of course, uh, there are too many variables. Thank you very much for this cautious optimism on uh, the growth of the MSME sector. That's it on this edition of Indianomics. Thanks for watching.